We begin our setup by taking out the two red shipping brackets using a 5mm wrench. Now we need to connect the DRO, Z-axis servo, and MPG connectors. Each one of these have their own unique pin configurations. This ensures that they can only be plugged into their intended ports. Next, we connect the coolant pump into the female 4-pin connector as shown. Then, we connect the fluid sensor into the male 4-pin connector. And lastly, we connect the lamp into the male 2-pin connector. Now let's move on and feed the incoming power cable into the bottom hole and the output spark cable into the other. Make sure to secure them on the other side. Next, connect the output spark cable, remove the plastic cover and remove the screws. Make sure to correctly match the cables as labeled. Next, we connect the incoming power to R, S, and T and ground to the E terminal. We turn on the machine by switching on the main power, pressing on the green power button, and powering on the monitor. When the alarm goes off, release the e-stop button. Once the machine is on, we open the doors in order for us to remove the Z-axis and the W-axis support blocks. We remove the Z-axis support block by pressing Z-positive on the MPG to release. To remove the W-axis support block, we first need to enable the W-axis by pressing key 5. Now it's enabled. Now that it's enabled, we can now press W-positive on the panel to raise the W-axis to release. Next, we install the fire extinguisher as shown. In the final step of the setup, we need to connect the coolant hoses. We connect the hose of the pump to the outer connector and the return line to the connector with the valve. 